The Battle of Pavia, fought on the morning of February 24, 1525, was the decisive engagement of the Italian War of 1521-26. A Spanish imperial army under the nominal command of Charles de Lannoy, and working in conjunction with the garrison of Pavia, commanded by Antonio de Leva, attacked the French army under the personal command of Francis I of France in the great hunting preserve of Mirabello outside the city walls. In the four-hour battle, the French army was split and defeated in detail. The French suffered massive casualties, including many of the chief nobles of France. Francis himself, captured by the Spanish troops, was imprisoned by Charles V and forced to sign the humiliating Treaty of Madrid, surrendering significant territory to his captor. The outcome of the battle cemented Spanish Habsburg ascendancy in Italy. For more details on this topic, see Italian Campaign of 1524-1525. The French, in possession of Lombardy at the start of the Italian War of 1521-26, had been forced to abandon it after their defeat at the Battle of Bicocca in 1522. Determined to regain it. Francis ordered an invasion of the region in late 1523, under the command of Guillaume Gfier, Seigneur de Bonnevet, but Bonnevet was defeated by imperial troops at the Battle of the Sigia and forced to withdraw to France. Charles de Lannoy now launched an invasion of Provence under the command of Fernando d'Avalos, Marquis of Pescara, and Charles III, Duke of Bourbon who had recently betrayed Francis and allied himself with the emperor. While initially successful, the imperial offensive lost valuable time during the siege of Marseille and was forced to withdraw back to Italy by the arrival of Francis and the main French army at Avignon. In mid-October 1524, Francis himself crossed the Alps and advanced on Milan at the head of an army numbering more than 40,000. Bourbon and Davalos, their troops not yet recovered from the campaign in Provence, were in no position to offer serious resistance. 3. The French army moved in several galums, brushing aside imperial attempts to hold its advance, but failed to bring the main body of imperial troops to battle. Nevertheless, Charles de Lannoy, who had concentrated some 16,000 men to resist the 33,000 French troops closing on Milan, decided that the city could not be defended and withdrew to Lodi on 26 October. Having entered Milan and installed Louis du de la Tremoille as the governor, Francis, at the urging of Bonnevet and against the advice of his other senior commanders, who favored a more vigorous pursuit of the retreating Lannoy, advanced on Pavia, where Antonio de Leva remained with a sizable imperial garrison of about 9,000. The main mass of French troops arrived at Pavia in the last days of October. By 2 November, and a Montmorency had crossed the Ticino River and invested the city from the south, completing its encirclement. Inside were about 9,000 men mainly mercenaries whom Antonio de Leva was able to pay only by melting the church plate. A period of skirmishing and artillery bombardments followed, and several breaches had been made in the walls by mid-November. On 21 November, Francis attempted an assault on the city through two of the breaches, but was beaten back with heavy casualties, hampered by rainy weather and a lack of gunpowder. The French decided to wait for the defenders to starve. In early December, a Spanish force commanded by Hugo de Moncada landed near Genoa, intending to interfere in a conflict between pro Valois and pro Habsburg factions in the city. Francis dispatched a larger force under the Marquis of Salazzo to intercept them. Confronted by the more numerous French and left without naval support by the arrival of a pro Valois fleet commanded by Andrea Doria, the Spanish troops surrendered. Francis then signed a secret agreement with Pope Clement VII, 
who pledged not to assist Charles in exchange for Francis's assistance with the conquest of Naples. Against the advice of his senior commanders, Francis detached a portion of his forces under the Duke of Albany and sent them south to aid the Pope. Lanoy attempted to intercept the expedition near Fiorenzola, but suffered heavy casualties and was forced to return to Lodi by the intervention of the infamous black bands of Giovanni de' Medici, Italian mercenaries which had just entered French service. Medici then returned to Pavia with a supply train of gunpowder and shot gathered by the Duke of Ferrara but the French position was simultaneously weakened by the departure of nearly 5,000 Grissons Swiss mercenaries, who returned to their cantons in order to defend them against marauding Lanskniks. In January 1525, Lanois was reinforced by the arrival of Georg Fronsberg with 15,000 fresh Lanskniks and renewed the offensive. Davalos captured the French outpost at Sant'Angelo la Melina, cutting the lines of communication between Pavia and Milan, while a separate column of Landskniks advanced on Belgio Gioso and, despite being briefly pushed back by a raid led by Medici and Bonnevet, occupied the town. By 2 February, Lanoy was only a few miles from Pavia. Francis had encamped the majority of his forces in the Great Walled Park of Mirabello outside the city walls, placing them between Leva's garrison and the approaching relief army. Skirmishing and sallies by the garrison continued through the month of February. Medici was seriously wounded and withdrew to Piacenza to recuperate, forcing Francis to recall much of the Milan garrison to offset the departure of the Black Band but the fighting had little overall effect. On 21 February, the imperial commanders, running low on supplies and mistakenly believing that the French forces were more numerous than their own, decided to launch an attack on Mirabello Castle in order to save face and demoralize the French sufficiently to ensure a safe withdrawal. 